what is up. So it is official. We are less than a week from Christmas Eve. And I think I'm actually going to be uploading this either on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Just because I got all that out for you guys. I think I won't be posting a video after Christmas for at least a little while. So I have been posting a lot recently because of that. You know, I'm just going to be a little bit busy doing my own things, personal stuff. But I have left you guys with a whole bunch of videos. And honestly, I don't know if I said this before in another video, but I did hit 500 subscribers. And I am so thankful I have currently... I think 513 of you and holy shit that's a lot especially for me because even when I hit like five subscribers I was like oh my god I have five but officially I have been doing this YouTube thing for three years now recently a year ago is when I started to really get into YouTube I really just love getting on here showing my art showing you guys what I love to do as a hobby and I couldn't ask for anything more then thank you for your support and thank you for staying and watching my videos. As you guys will be seeing in this video, this is a very, very festive look for you guys. And I recently discovered the NYX glitters, like these, these little things, oh my god. I had no idea, like where was I? Was I hiding under a rock this whole time? This thing is magic. It's it's magic in a bottle. By mistake, you guys will see that I called it pixie dust. I don't even know why I called it pixie dust, but I did. So I don't think I have anything else to say other than this is just going to be strictly an eye look for you guys. And I am going to be showing you this look with three different lip combos. So make sure to watch the entire video. So watch to the very end if you are interested to see how I combine different lip colors to suit this eye look because it is very out there and I do know that, but it is very festive. So I don't think I have anything else to say other than I love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. So this is one of these really rare occurrences where I decide to do my face first rather than my eyes first because if you guys have known him for a while or have been in this channel for a while or have seen a couple of my videos you know that I usually just go in first in my eyes and then I do foundation the reason I do that is just if I have any fallout I doesn't matter I could just wipe it off or anything and then I apply foundation and there's no fallout or ugly black smudges in the foundation but today I decided to change things up a bit and I did my face first and what I'm going to do if you guys have noticed already well of course you've noticed because you've been seeing the video so I am currently baking and I am going to leave this whole baking process on while I do my eyes and that is because just in case I do have fallout um, when I dust off the powder it, whatever fallout happened I can just dust it off as well recently I discovered these items I went to Ulta and I specifically went to pick up these two items this is the NYX glitter primer and then this is the NYX glitter this is in the number 06 and this is gonna be the first time that I am using these items and I am hella excited. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I, I sort of have an idea in my mind, but I'll figure something out and let's begin. So first thing that I'm gonna do, I am just going to be priming my lids with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is the anti-aging one. And I am going to be applying this all over my lid. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be highlighting my eyes. So I'm just going to grab a brush just like this one. And I'm going to be going in in my handy dandy Kat Von D Shape Plus Light Palette. And this is my favorite highlight shade, which is just this basic white one up here. And this one's in the color Salos. And I'm going to be applying this on my brow bone. Alrighty, so it's looking a little bit crazy, but I'm like crazy. So I think I'm just going to use the same brush again, but this time I'm going to be picking a more neutral shade, and it's going to be this one from my same palette, and it's called Samuel. And I'm applying this generously all over the lid. Alrighty, 
So now I'm just going to be picking up a blending brush. I'm going to be using this really small one just to be more precise. So I'm going to start off with a very light transition color. I don't want to go in too heavy at the moment. And I'm going to be picking this one. It's a very light color. You can see these two compared. This one is much lighter than this one. This one is called Latinus. So I'm going to be grabbing a very small blending brush with this one. And then I'm just going to be grabbing a any brush. Any brush. And this one is much thicker. You can see I'm going to be using this one. And this is just to help me guide so I have a more sharper edge to my uh, crease. So first I'm going to work on the wing right here and then I can focus on my crease. I'm going to be messy with it in the beginning, don't worry. Same thing with this eye, focusing on the wing first and then on the crease. Wow, okay that looks super bad. So now I'm just going to go in freehanding and very lightly holding the brush at the very end. I'm going to be just really blending this in. So I'm just going to grab a much thicker one now. I'm not going to be worrying about this line that I created here. I'm just working on the crease color right now. So I'm going to be going in with a darker color. I'm going to be going in with Sci-Tri. So I'm picking up this one now. It's a much darker color and I'm focusing on right here on the, the exact crease of mine. So I open my eyes. I see where my exact crease is, which is right here. You see this line right here that creases? That's where I'm going to be applying the darker brown. I'm going to be going in with a much different brush now, just so I can equally blend out these two products. So now I'm just really like erasing that line that I created in the beginning because I just changed my mind up on the look, on the outcome of the look. So just brushing that off like it never happened. Okay, in the outer corners, I'm going to be picking up a much darker color now, so remember, you don't have to be using this palette, but um, this is a very neutral palette. It has a lot of browns to it, so this is why I really like this palette. So now I'm going to go in with this color called Solas. It's a much darker brown than these two, as you guys can see, and I'm going to be grabbing it with this brush. I like this brush, and I'm going to be focusing this on the outer right here, and I'm going to be going in circular motions just to add some definition. And then here in the lid, I'm just gonna be, you know, pushing upward with the brush, of course. That's gonna add a little bit more definition to our whole look. So same on this eye, I'm just gonna be brushing this here in circular motions, and then I'm gonna be dragging the outer edge of my eye upward and inward. And I'm not going to go into this part of the eye, at least not yet. So I think for now, we're pretty good. I don't want to go too crazy in the eyes, like I said. Let me just clean this up a little bit here. I think I'm just going to go full on in now with the glitter, because the main attraction of this look is the glitter. So first, I'm going to be applying the NYX Glitter Primer. Should I do it with a brush or with my finger? I think I'm going to go with a brush, just to be more precise. And then I'm going to be opening this up, flipping it over, and just making sure that I am collecting a whole bunch of pixie dust. I mean, glitter on the top. See? So I have a sufficient amount here that I can start picking up little by little. Okay, I only have this type of brush. It's like super small. This is actually a concealer brush, but I'm just going to use it as a guide for my glitter. So I'm picking up a whole bunch of the primer, as you guys can see right here. And I'm going to be applying this on my entire lid. Should I wing this out? Oh my god, that would be so cool. I feel like it might not work out though. Whatever, so I kind of like gave it a little wing here. So now I'm just going to go in with the glitter. I think for this part though, I'm just going to dip my finger in and start packing it on. <gasps> oh my god, it's so so beautiful. 
How come I'm finding out about this now? Like, I think I'm actually gonna be using the brush because just to be more precise. Like, this is so beautiful. And they had a wide range of color selection. Like they had blacks, they had green glitter, gold glitter. Wow, but I'm super impressed with this, guys. Yo, that's, oh my God, that's so bomb. That is so bomb. Do you guys see what I did? I created this little wing. Oh my God. I'm literally in love, you guys. Oh my god, this product is A1. I think I did a pretty good job, you guys. Um, definitely had to clean up here a little bit because it transferred a little bit onto the crease, but that's fine. I'm gonna do a denser brush like this one. I think I'm gonna go with black eyeliner. Yeah, so I am going to be using a liquid black eyeliner. I think I'm gonna go and do... Oh my god, I think I'm gonna do the same motion. You know what? Hold up, guys. Hold up. I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I was gonna do something different rather than just a basic wing liner, but I pussied out like at the last second. I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Alrighty, I think I'm just gonna go and move on to falsies. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte eyelash curler. And I'm just gonna be curling my eyelashes for a good five to ten seconds each. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara of all time, which is of course the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. I just love the length that this gives me. So I'm going to be using some really long, really exaggerated falsies, and I'm going to be gluing them on with my dual eyelash glue. So my really extravagant lashes are on, and I'm going to be moving on with some black eyeliner and I'm going to be applying this on my waterline. So I think I'm going to continue with the whole scheme of the brown tone. So what I'm going to do is once again I'm going to be grabbing except a much denser, smaller brush now. And I'm going to be going in with the first color that I picked up, which was the lightest brown, which is this one right here, which is called Latinus. And I'm going to be going under my lash line with this. It's a little bit too light for my liking, so I'm going to go in with the darkest brown, which is Solus. So I'm now going to be applying some mascara on my lower lash line. And this pretty much just completes the eye look, you guys. This lash in the- oh my god. These lashes always like in the inner corner like start to detach and it's so annoying. So guys, my eye look is complete. I am just going to be dusting this off and showing you guys the completed look. So today, I am actually going to be showing you guys three lip combinations with this super glittery eye look. Two of them are gonna be red lips and then one of them is just gonna be a neutral nude toned color. So this is lip number one. Obviously, if you have a nude lip, it can go with any eye color, any makeup that you are currently wearing, nude lip isn't going to steal a lot of attention from the show. But if you are like me and you don't mind all that attention, you can also go with a super matte red lip. This is super festive, super Christmas, and it also goes with this look, surprisingly. It's not too much going on, and honestly, it's a super beautiful combination. If you want to spice things up a bit, you can go with this third lip combo, which is, of course, the same red lip, but instead, this time, it is super glossy. We added a bunch of gloss to the lip, making it more pop, meaning that both your eyes and both your lips are going to be super out there. And if you're into that, perfect. And if you're into that new lip, perfect as well. Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight.